it's Alyssa from RomeWise, your go-to guide to Rome, here today at the beautiful Gardens of Nympha, which are about an hour and 15 minutes south of Rome. I'm going to take you with me, give you a little bit of the history, and explain how you can visit these gardens too. It's really, really special, so let's go. If you're new to my channel, Rome Wise is your go-to guide to Rome, bringing you the best of Rome and beyond with lots of great things to see and do, wonderful things to eat and drink, and plenty of secret spots along the way. So come on over and subscribe and hit that like button while you're at it. All right, let's get this visit started. So this whole town of Nympha has been here since the Middle Ages. It was founded by the powerful Caetani family and over seven centuries they ruled this town. But then they basically <laughs> killed each other off and the town just died. But the family, the Caetani family, didn't die out until the 1970s and in 1920 one of the family members started this garden and it is just an amazing array of flora that's been brought together and is able to survive and has created its own ecosystem internally. These plants that are from all over the world, they are surviving and thriving in these conditions um, that maybe they wouldn't otherwise. That's a church right there, one of the smaller churches. So in the 1970s, the Caetanis forbade um, insecticides. So there is a huge population in, in these gardens of bees, birds, and other insects, and they monitor them. Uh, there are university studies that are monitoring some of the more parasitic insects, but it's very self-contained, it's self-managing. The woman giving the tour said that since she's been giving tours here, she has never been bitten by an insect. So it's pretty interesting. I can see the bees. I can hear the, <laughs> the birds. Um, here's some butterflies for you. Well guys, we have reached the end of this tour. It takes a little over an hour. We are just underneath the town of Sermoneta, where there is an amazing medieval castle that you can visit. It's the most intact medieval castle in all of Italy. It's also a great place to go have lunch before you head back to Rome. So that's where we're going. So it's a pretty typical thing to do after you visit the Gardens of Nympha to come up here to Sermoneta, which is less than a 10 minute drive, and visit the castle, which is really amazing. You can actually visit it and eat some lunch in one of the cute little trattorias here. It's a great way to spend a half a day outside of Rome. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Thanks for watching. See you at the next one. Ciao for now.